We're coming to example one. Example one says that uh, there is a maximum demand on a system uh, 500 megawatt. So on a system there is a maximum demand is equal to 500 megawatt and the minimum demand on the same system for a year is 400 megawatt. So, if the plant capacity factor is 750 megawatt, we have to find First of all, the plant capacity factor. Second, the load factor. Thirdly, the plant utilization factor. Lastly, we have to find the uh, reserve capacity. <coughs> we have to find three or four things actually. The plant capacity factor, plant utilization factor, the load factor and the reserve capacity. When on a system, the maximum demand is 500 megawatt and the minimum demand is 400 megawatt. The plant capacity, it's not the factor, it's the plant capacity is equal to 750 megawatt. How to start with this question? So the maximum demand is given, the minimum demand is given. So we can find the average demand or average load. So average load is equal to the maximum demand plus the minimum demand divided by a 2 that is 500 plus 400 divided by 2 which is called as the 250 megawatt this is the average amount which is all time present in the system this is the average amount so we can have the plant capacity factor PCF is equal to the average demand divided by the Plant rated plant capacity. The it is called the average demand divided by the rated system capacity. So one can directly say that the average demand is 450 right now, and the plant capacity is 750 megawatt. The plant capacity which is coming as 0.6. So the answer for plant capacity vector is 0.6. <coughs> so I can have the load factor also. I can find the load factor now. Load factor, as we know, that the load factor is average demand by the maximum demand. So, average demand which we have found is load factor, which we can write that average demand for the maximum demand, which is equal to average demand which we have found in the earlier part of the question is 450 megawatts divided by the maximum demand, which is 
500 megawatts already given. So we can have the load factor as 0.9. Load factor is coming as 0.9. Now coming to the plant utilization factor, the plant utilization factor or PUF is called the maximum demand to the plant capacity, which is both the things are directly given. So we can find the plant utilization factor, which is called the PUF is equals to maximum demand divided by the rated system capacity which is called the maximum demand which is already given in the system question is 500 megawatts and the plant capacity is given as 750 so we can find the plant utilization factor as 0.667 Now coming to the reserve capacity, <coughs> last part of the question is called the reserve capacity. Reserve capacity is equal to the plant capacity, total capacity of the system minus the maximum demand or the maximum load. If you see in any load curve, this is my load curve suppose and this is my maximum demand suppose exactly equals to 500 in the same question and my flying capacity is right now 750. So this is the capacity which is always in my reserve which is from 500 to 700. So I can have the reserve capacity as my rated system capacity minus of maximum demand. So from the question is directly possible to answer this thing 750 minus 500 that is equal to 250 megawatts. So 250 megawatts here is called as the reserve capacity, which is not in use but it is actually present in the system for future expansions and for further. It loads. If any other system is requiring this 250 megawatts in addition, so uh, the capacity of this system is that it is able to uh, cope up with its maximum demand, which is called by terms 500 megawatt, and this system is able to give more surplus power to some other interconnection or some other uh, station or some other place. Uh, of 250 megawatt, which is called the reserve capacity, such that it will be producing uh, the uh, power on its rated system capacity. At that time, my plant utilization factor will be 1 and the plant capacity factor will be 1, such that my system would be able to produce 750 megawatts. So this is the thing which we can understand from this question that uh, it you see the maximum demand is low from the reserve capacity so i we having uh, surplus power if i am requiring if i want to produce some more electricity or some more power i will be able to produce beyond my maximum power if my reserve capacity would be here then it may be possible that i have to take this much of amount which is beyond this line from some other interconnection and I will not be having any reserve capacity at that moment. <coughs> now we can go for some uh, more questions. Uh, another question which shows that the 
you can have an example too. Example 2 says that the maximum demand of the system is 400 megawatt. <clears throat> the load factor is also given as 0.9. The band capacity factor, the PCF. is also given as 0.6 so we have to find the plant capacity we have to find the plant capacity so it's an objective type of question it's um, just a proven question so rather than putting so much of mind into it we can directly solve this question. We know that the plant capacity factor is equal to the average demand upon the rated system capacity and uh, maximum plant capacity we can write as <coughs> the maximum demand multiplied by the load factor so I can write average demand right now as maximum demand into load factor how I have written this thing average demand upon maximum demand is equals to what? Is equals to load factor. So the average demand will be equals to maximum demand into the load factor. So I can write this thing directly that the average demand is equals to maximum demand into load factor divided by the rated system capacity is equal to the plant capacity factor. Now we need to have the rated system capacity or the plant capacity. So the plant capacity. which is the rated system capacity here will be equal to maximum demand into load factor divided by my plant capacity factor so the maximum demand is 400 megawatt into the load factor which is given as here as 0.9 divided by the plant capacity factor which is given as 0.6 so I can have my plant capacity as 600 megawatts. This is the answer for this plant capacity which is equal to now 600 megawatt. In the same question, uh, if the same question asks for the reserve capacity also, if this question, this was the first part of the question, if the second part of the same question if asked for the reserve capacity also then this reserve capacity will be equal to as we have calculated in the previous example also that the rated system capacity or the plant capacity minus the maximum demand here the plant capacity is 600 megawatts and the maximum demand, uh, maximum demand is 400 megawatts so here the reserve capacity will be 200 megawatt. So, likewise, we can solve different type of questions in load characteristics. <clears throat> we can go for another example number three to understand the same thing, which is called as the plant capacity factor and plant utilization factor. In this the plant capacity factor is given as 0.5 
In the previous session, uh, just to remind you people that in the previous question in example number 2, which we have seen that the plant capacity factor is equal to average demand divided by the rated uh, system capacity. So we know this formula, we have uh, seen this formula, but we have deduced one more formula from uh, the load factor that is equal to average demand upon maximum demand is equal to load factor and uh, plant capacity factor uh, is equal to maximum demand into load factor divided by the rated system capacity. So we should understand this, we should learn by heart this power also in the sum question, sum test question, uh, rather than the maximum demand, uh, rather than the average demand for asking for plant capacity factor, uh, it is given as maximum demand and the load factor, which, in, which was the previous example, uh, it was not directly given the average demand. So we have to find the average demand first of all, then to find the plant capacity or the plant capacity factor. So we must learn that formula also, we must understand, we must learn by heart that formula that is the maximum demand into load factor divided by the rated system capacity is equal to the plant capacity factor. So please remember that formula. Now coming to the example number 3 which is the plant capacity factor as 0.5 and the plant utilization Factor is given as 0.6. So you have to find the load factor. You have to find the load factor. How to find the load factor now? <coughs> Coming back to the uh, formula for maximum demand and uh, sorry, for the plant capacity factor and plant utilization factor. So I can write plant capacity factor is equal to average demand divided by plant capacity and I can have another formula of plant utilization factor. This is called the plant utilization factor PUF is equal to the maximum demand divided by the plant capacity or it is also known as related system capacity and the plant capacity and one, one more one and the same thing. So in this question you have to find the load factor. So we know the plant capacity factor is equal to average demand upon the uh, plant capacity or the rated system capacity and the plant utilization factor is equal to the maximum demand upon the plant capacity or the rated system capacity. So how to find the load factor from this? These two are given. How to find the load factor? So by clearly looking at this thing, if I divide both the things, plant capacity factor to do the plant utilization factor, one can understand that these two will get cancelled out. So plant capacity factor divided by plant utilization factor is directly equal to the load factor. So this is very important to use formula from both do these two things that the plant capacity factor to the plant utilization factor is called the load factor. So but what is load factor right now? Or what is load factor we understood? Till now, with the average demand upon the maximum demand. So, this if these two are going gone, so the rest thing which is here is called as the average demand to the maximum demand. So, which is also equal to the load factor. So, we can directly now say that the plant capacity factor to the plant utilization factor is equal to the load factor. So, coming back to this question now. So, the plant capacity factor is given as 0.5. So, 0.5 divided by 0.6 is called as the load factor, which is equal to 0.833. So, the answer is 0.833. This is the load factor, and this is the answer of this example number 3.